It has been over a year and a half since Chelsea Brooke disappeared from a Halloween party in Monroe County. Today, after an exhaustive investigation, the man police say killed her was formally charged with her murder. His name is Daniel Clay, and today, the 27-year-old made his first appearance in court. Local Four's Priya Mann was inside the courtroom. And Priya, any reaction yet from Chelsea's family? Well, Karen, Chelsea Brooks' family was escorted from the courthouse. Uh, her mother, father, and sister were in court today. They didn't speak to the media, but Chelsea's mother did make a statement. She was wearing a purple pin that had the word hope written on it, as this family hopes justice will prevail. The suspect in one of Monroe's highest profile murder cases appeared in front of a packed courtroom. 27 year old Daniel Clay of Newport has been charged with the murder of Chelsea Brook. The 22 year old maybe woman disappeared after a Halloween party in 2014. She was dressed as the Batman supervillain Poison Ivy. In April of 2015, her body was discovered by construction workers in Ash Township. After following up on hundreds of tips, the Monroe County Sheriff's Department arrested Clay a year and a half after her death. He was arrested at his home in Frenchtown Township, not far from the party Brook was last seen at. Deputies made the arrest after evidence from the state crime lab connected him to the case. Over the weekend, we spoke with Daniel Clay's girlfriend. She says the defendant called her shortly after he was arrested and confessed. Here's what he had to say to the judge today. Which gives the court authority to remand the defendant in the case of murder. We would uh, think that, that would be an appropriate uh, bond in this particular case, and I would defer any further argument that the court uh, is required to do so. I, say something. I don't want a bond. I'm not going to ask for one. Denied. Daniel Clay has been charged with second degree murder. He remains behind bars and will be given a court appointed lawyer. Now, coming up at five, we'll talk to the prosecutor and have new information on Clay's criminal history. And at six, we'll have reaction from this community. This is a case that really sparked national attention. Everyone here knew the name Chelsea Brock. We'll talk to them and get their reaction with news. Someone has been arrested. Reporting live from Monroe, I'm Priya Mann, Local 4. All right, that community has been searching for some closure. Thank you very much, Priya.